Okay. Team, it is time to talk about various topics that exist within Guild Wars 2. So, let's learn about build templates. Let's learn, guys. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right, let's get into this then. Learn all about build templates and equipment templates. In April, we announced that we've been working on a much requested feature for Guild Wars 2, templates. They've been in development for a long time, and today we're finally pulling back the curtain on how this feature works, and we're looking forward to getting it into your hands so we can hear your feedback and continue to build on it. We're happy to announce that we'll release Guild Wars 2 templates on October 29th. Good. End of the month. I like it. That's not really that long, you know? Well... You know, it's, um, if you think about it, the actual release time for this has been seven years, but hey, you know, some guys, some guys have, you know, some companies have a development cycle that's longer than others, right? So it took them seven years to implement this, uh, probably one of the key features, most requested features of all time. So, you know, well done to a seven year turnaround, not bad. A character's combat customization is split into two parts. The first is your choice of utility skills, specializations, and major trait choices. The second is your choice of equipment, along with any attribute choices and upgrades. The system we developed reflects this, giving you access to two separate types of templates, build templates and equipment templates. Yeah, uh, this is good. This is actually very similar to how Ark works. You have gear and you have... Well, I think Ark actually goes even further. Um, you can you can subdivide it even more than that um, into different... You can have, like, traits, gear, and skills as well, I believe. Uh, so it, it's a little... Yeah, this is, yeah, but it's basically the same thing. Excellent work. That Yeah, I, I like that. It's well done. So, let's continue. Because these are separate from each other, you can create multiple build templates that work with a single equipment template and vice versa. At release, each template tab will have its own keybind, allow oh, huh. allowing you to quickly change the template that best suits your moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. Swapping can be done when you're out of combat with limitations in competitive modes. That is going to be very, I tell you what, the uh, dungeon um, lovers are going to love that. That's going to be great, because they can just have, uh, you know, Lupicus, you know, trash run, you know, trash one, trash two, like different uh, different mm -hmm. pulls, right? Yeah, people are going to love that. That's actually a, that's a really, really nice feature. It's um, a, good, um, a good thought to have a hotkey option there as well, because I think you'll actually see a lot of hardcore players will get use out of that. Just on a click of a button, bam, swap over. I need this weapon, I need this here, I need that there. You know, like that, you know, I need this build, these, you know, I want to play Firebrand here, Dragon Hunter here, you know, for soloing dungeons. That's actually a really cool, uh, really cool feature there. We'll ease with the swapping. People are very used to doing, you know, having their inventory really, really tiny and then right clicking on stuff, but you won't have to do that anymore <laughs> uh, if you just have used this feature. So yeah, oh, I like it. And this is kind of what it looks like. So it's, uh, we can, well, actually, let me just shrink that down here. So this is what it looks like here. Uh, it will be on the, it's a new tab opening up in the hero panel. And you can look there, you've got world versus world, dead, evil, dead eye. It, can, it shows you the icon, right, of what you're going to get. And then you can name it. You can name your, um, I think people forget how clunky Ark's template is. Ark's template is not ideal, but I've never really had too many troubles with it. Like, this will probably instantaneously swap as well, which is kind of nice, which is, um, Pretty cool, but yeah. It, there you go. You got a bunch of uh, a bunch of templates there. Now, what? What? Hang on. How many? Um, I want to check how many of these you can actually unlock. Is it infinite? Because I kind of felt like it better be infinite. You know? Because uh, if you look here, four builds on the left and three on the top. Well, look. Um. There's a scroller, so it might be limited. Well, I mean, look at this, though, guys, right? Because this the player here is on their thief. So this is account-wide. Right? Trades are character-bound. Gear is account-bound. Gear is account-bound? Wait, why is gear account bound? That makes absolutely zero sense. <laughs> Wait, gear is not account bound? Okay, okay, I'm not going to listen to the chat. I'm not listening to the chat. The, no, chat, it, to the uh, chat. the, the chat, chat is, the chat, the chat, they're, they're papagas, okay? No, the chat has thoughts. 
A build template stores a set of utility skills, specialization lines, and major trait choices. You'll find your character's build templates in the hero panel within the build tab. With the click of a button, you can swap between build template tabs to activate a different build template. You can copy the contents of one build template tab to another, rename it, and clear it completely. You can also preview your character's inactive build template tabs by hovering over the tab to view a short summary of its contents. Oh, yep, sounds like a good feature to me in case you forgot what that is. Okay. A build template tab can hold any build template that matches your character's profession. Even if you haven't trained all the skills or specialization lines used by a build template, you can keep it active on your active build template tab. The unobtained elements will automatically be equipped once they've been trained from the training tab. Right, well, oh, you can, you know, you can you know, preemptive templates, boys. At release, each character will get three build template tabs, which will be preloaded with their existing builds from PvE, PvP, World vs. World. You can swap the contents of the build template tabs for use in any game mode, or purchase more tabs from the jet. Dude, it, I, I, can you can you imagine how much Brazil will be crowing right now? Oh, dude, he would <laughs> love this. He would eviscerate Arena for this. Oh man. Uh, so purchase more tabs in the gem store. <laughs> Build template sharing. Build templates can also be copied as a chat link in the game. Ah, very nice. Good old Guild Wars 1. You can send them to friends to help them prepare for a raid or your enemies. Oh, oh, yes. Okay. To, or, to your, or to your enemies to boast of your superior build. <laughs> These chat links can also be copied and pasted out of the game and back into it from your clipboard, making trying a new build from another player or external website a breeze. Yeah, as long as you bought enough uh, slots, I guess. Um, each build template chat link shows a small preview of its contents, but you can dive into it by clicking on the chat link to bring up the inspect panel. In this panel, you can view the contents of the build template in the same way to appear in your build tab, with full tools for each skill and trait. If any parts of the template are, unavail are unavailable to your character, this will be noted. That's really cool, actually. So, it will- oh, wow. That's great. What a cool little UI, though. Look at that. That's- that's very good, actually. So, this means you can get a very quick overview. That's a great UI element, actually, there. Um, if someone can link that to you in the chat as well, that will appear as a tooltip. That's very good. Um, that's excellent, actually. That's a great feature. It's a very good feature. Uh, it's a shame you yeah you can't share gear, though, which is a little bit unfortunate, but that would be too elitist. That means you can say ping gear. <gasps> Dude, this is actually such a good elitist feature. Oh, my God. You can actually say ping build now. Oh, yeah, ooh, ping ooh, your build. Ooh. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh, yes, yes. You can force people to ping build. I like it. Yeah, that's nice. So you can beat people. To, you can beat people very easy. You can beat people to death wow. now. Yeah, that's very nice. Yeah, elitism is fully enabled. I like that a lot. Yeah. If the build template you're inspecting is different, is for a different profession than the one you're logged in with playing, you can still store it on your account-wide build storage. Unlike build template tabs, build storage can hold templates of any profession and can be accessed um, by any character in your account. Build template tabs, build storage. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So, ah, right, I understand how this works then. Oh, those double-dipping cheeky boys. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. So, you can store build templates that uh, you might not be using in storage in for the gem store money. Okay, for the gem store. And then you need tabs on your characters as well to have the build templates there as well. Okay, interesting. Uh, to obtain more, you can post in packs with three in the gem store. For a limited time of release, you'll be able to pick up a free pack in the gem store for a total of six free build storage spaces. Well, I mean, like six free storage spaces. I mean, that could be, that could be a, that could be worse. How many of those can you buy though? Actually, you know, switch after the build. How many? I guess you can buy infinite of these. Um, it, although it's at the top of the UI, so I wonder how many... Yeah, it says you can buy them in packs of three. So I'm at, it, it looks like you could fit ten at least, so it'll probably be twelve. Maybe there'll be a scroll bar as well over the top. I would imagine that um, there will be some more. So you can get... So, oh, the store... Oh, so hang on. Wait, this is the account storage one then. This is the account storage one then here in the build templates. Okay, so this scroll bar here. So I guess you can get a whole bunch of those. Top bar is gear templates, left scroll bar is build templates. So these are the, the build templates you can have um, for your character. Okay, so you can have a whole bunch of those. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. 
So that's the where all the your accounts build also world as well daredevil dead eye weaver tempest firebrand heal firebrand you know condi firebrand fractal raid right all that sort of stuff. i hope you can get a lot of those because uh, if you are a um if you are a pretty intense player for if you play more than one game mode or you play more than one class you'll actually need a lot of these if you actually care about playing well um, so I hope you can buy a lot of those because you're going to need them. Holy shit. You're really going to need them. In that case. Um, yeah, okay, okay. Equipment templates. Your character's equipment, attributes, and upgrades, excluding gathering tools, can be stored in equipment templates. To add an item to the equipment template, navigate to the equipment template tab. You want to store the uh, template in and equip your item. Items you add to equipment templates will no longer take up space in your... Oh, oh dude, that is... Oh, the power creep! The power creep! <laughs> oh, dude, I insta-buy these. What the fuck? That's insane! That's insane! What?! Some actual bags. Oh, <laughs> dude, my ascended gear feels good. Yeah. Oh, incredible. Dude, this is a really well done system, actually. There. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's very well done. It's really well done, actually. Yeah. Items you add to equipment templates will no longer take up space in your character's inventory, and you can reuse them across each of that character's equipment templates. Oh, oh, that's so good. Items stored in this fashion will display a link icon in the upper corner, an additional tool of information listing all the equipment templates you use them in. Equipment templates can also record the customization of legendary items, which can freely change attributes and upgrades. You can equip a single legendary into multiple equipment templates with different attributes and upgrade choices for each. Oh, that's insane. Oh, dude, why was this not in the game at the beginning? Oh. You can copy and paste an equipment template from one town to another, rename it, or empty it of all items, including attributes and upgrades. The latter will return any items not used in other templates to your normal inventory. Hover your mouse cursor over an equipment template tab for a short summary of the equipment templates. We're sorry, yeah, 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 we know, we know that, we know that. Each of your characters will have access to two equipment template tabs for free, and the first will automatically be populated with the equipment template containing the gear your character was already wearing when you last logged in. You can purchase additional equipment template tabs from the gem store. Is that character bound, though? Gear is character bound. Ah! Oh, arena net. Yeah, I don't know. Like this is um, uh, this is real. Th this is such a well done feature. Um, it obviously sucks that you have to pay for it to be able to use it. I and mean, let, let, let's take my necro for example. I think my necro is probably the most egregious example of this when I go ahead and relog. My necro has got so much gear. I play a lot of different builds on necro to the point where I actually had to make another necro to keep playing all the builds on it, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. So if we just take a look at how much ascended gear I actually have on my necromancer, you can... Um, you can kind of get the picture, right? So this feature is going to be life-changing for me, right? Like, it's unironically life-changing. Uh, and that's, of course, not even including the gear I have. Like, I think well over half my inventory is just ascended gear for all the different builds. You know, Power Reaper, Plague Doctor Scourge, um, Magi Heal Scourge, Z uh, Martial Heal Scourge, DPS Scourge. Um, I think I've even got, like, a World vs. World Weirdo building. I've got, like, staves here. I've got, I've got like, f I mean, you want to see something degenerate, guys? Let me show you some serious degeneracy. That is what I see when I see offhands. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ascended torches. One, two, three, four, five ascended daggers. One, two, three, four, five, six ascended warhorns. And then on top of that, I think I've got, th well, two ascended foci as well. Um, so, yeah, you know, a lot of stuff there. Like, when it comes to trinkets, you know, again, I've got a lot. And they all do get used sometimes as well, right? So, this is an insanely good feature uh, for me. So, yeah, I I'm on it, dude. I'm on it. Light changing how? Because you're filling your builds in no time. Then what? Manually do it again? Oh, no. I I'm going to buy build templates. Right? I'll probably I'll probably be forced to purchase an insane amount of build templates. But here's the thing, guys. I don't mind um, I don't mind spending money on something like this. You can't buy more than six. Uh, wait. You can only get six per character. It doesn't look like that. Or is that actually how it is? That is not good. Wait. Is it really only six? Does it say that somewhere? Oh, it kind of does look that way, actually. If you look at this, mm. there are only six. Um, 
think for the equipment template, it looks like there are only six tabs. That's very unfortunate. I actually don't. I actually don't have enough. Then do I? I'm gonna need. I'll still no. I'll still need two necros, and I'll just buy slots on both the necros. Oh, I read that. Oh, they know. You know what? I, you know what I love about this, dude. You know. You know why this is such a. This is a bit of a kick in the teeth if you're a bit of a more veteran or hardcore player. Um, because this is effectively a hardcore tax. It's a veteran tax. Because, um, I think one of the reasons why build templates don't exist in the game is because most of the player base won't get any value out of them. Right? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I, I think they will expand it. I think they're going to see requests for this and they'll actually expand this. It's like the shared inventory. So they're going to expand it. It's more money. People are going to buy it, right? Um, I think it's okay to monetize because those build them. It serves as a semi-bag slot. I agree. They're actually a very... Because of the bags, I think they're an incredibly powerful upgrade. Actually, a very powerful account upgrade. Really, really strong. Uh, but the, the concern here is that this will very likely... It won't... But casuals are making uh, making and sharing builds. Most people in the game like to play the same build everywhere, as in in PvP, PVE, and World versus World. Everywhere they like to play the same build because it's their um, you know their head cannon, their RP. Uh, so people like to play the same thing everywhere and not have to worry about changing their build or anything like that. I wonder. I wonder if. How expensive these are going to be? How expensive do you guys think they're going to sell this for? How much? How much? Are, how much am I going to have to drop to fully deck out my character? Eight hundred gems each. Oh man, I vote four hundred each. Four hundred each. I think is what they're going to do. Yeah. Yeah. Four hundred each. Yeah, gear 800. Eight, they are so powerful. That's the thing. Oh, I'm mad at the arena are so sneaky. They made this feature powerful because it's... Oh, you can justify it so easily, dude. Like, what? how much... It's like an 18-slot bag that you just get on top of all your other storage as well. Oh, man. Very, very good. It's a shame that it's not a bit more infinite, though. Um... Oh, oh dear. So they are double dipping here with the equipment and the build templates. Uh, so the trait templates, like the, the builds there. Looks like the... I, I'm... Yeah, I hope you'll be able to get a lot of build templates. Because here, it, it doesn't look like it actually scrolls that far. Um, I really hope that's kind of just like a weird thing. And you can kind of buy infinite. Um, I would like to see at least 30. Right? I, I mean, look. Let's be honest, guys. Like, on my Scourge, I've probably got six builds, right? On my Firebrand, I've got probably like another five builds, right? DH, Heal Firebrand, Condi Firebrand, Condi Quickness Firebrand, blah, blah. You know, blah, it continues, right? Um, and some people, yeah, Chrono's got a whole bunch of builds with like Mirage and Boon Chrono, Condi Chrono, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Four out of four. The four out of four uh, indicates... Uh, what does it uh, indicate? It indicates these ones. Your scourge can use the six at the top. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, oh, hang on. Wait, are they actually triple dipping? Have I somewhat misunderstood this? Um, th so you can get six build templates, and then you can have some in storage that aren't active as well, that are account-wide. So you have to buy the account-wide slots, you have to buy the character slots, and you have to buy the equipment slots. Dude, Arena, you're going to make me pay like 10 times the worth of the game for this. Oh, no. Oh, oh dear. Like, I, I don't mind that because I, I'm not really, I don't really care anymore. Um, but, oh, no. Oh, just don't tell Jim Sterling, guys. Holy shit. Do not tell any of the kind of like consumer watchdogs because they will rip this apart. Oh my god. Holy shit. Whew, yeesh. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Ugh. What, you don't even know the price yet? 
Yeah, but I mean, well, I hope it's not that expensive. They should have, they should have said how, they should have said how much it is actually, to be fair. Like, it might not be that bad. Like, what if it's like a hundred gems each? Yeah, if it's like a hundred gems each, then who cares, right? Uh, but I, I don't know, I'm, I'm a little bit worried about this. It's a little bit concerning. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know, it, maybe it's a hundred gems. If it's a hundred gems, that'll be fine, right, for all that stuff. But, um, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and let's, let's load up this stream. Let's go. Ooh. The stream is enabled. Oh, do we want to see the chat as well, guys? I, I want to see the chat. I'm gonna. Yes, yeah, so let's see the chat. Yeah, you want to see the chat, Mada? You yeah, like I want to see the chat. Okay, the chat is... I like there. to see the chat. Yeah, you want to pet the chat? Okay, there we go. The chat is enabled. They've been... Look, the chat has been put. Okay. There we go. So we've got some things. I think that's Clayton, isn't it? You know, they're setting up here, you know? The setup is happening. Let's just take take the volume down on the game and you know, let's uh, go ahead and increase the volume up here, you know? They're taking us behind oh. the scenes. Got some uh, heavy metal action here, Marta. You know, they're playing the Metal Legion music and it feels good, you know? Yeah, feels, feels fucking good. good. <laughs> mm. Hi, Tyria, mm. and happy Tuesday. Uh, I'm your host, Ruby. We have mm. Guild Chat today on a special day because we are going to show you how build templates, how, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm doing it too, how templates work. <laughs> and so Clayton is with me as What's almost up? always. What's up, And Tira? to teach us how to use templates is Amy. Amy, why don't you introduce yourself and talk about what you worked on for these? Um, all right. So my name's Amy Giannetti. I'm on the was on the gameplay uh, programming team, and uh, for the last oh louder yeah for the last while I've been working on building gear templates, um, trying to get the underlying tech just to, to play well with what we wanted it to do because let's be honest it, it wasn't capable of doing it before. <laughs> That's yeah, true. You guys, you have worked extremely hard. Um, it's finally in a place where it's not ready to go out. But is it is in a place where oh, Amy can run me and Clayton through and oh, yeah. show us exactly how everything works, what to do, how to use them, and that'll help you guys learn too. Yeah, All Amy, right. you're a hero. Thanks you for doing are. this. I'm one of a couple of people. That's Let's right. see. Let's, let's get to it. Me. You're one oh, of look, this guy's got a big DPS build on. Look at that. He's got right. the guard build on. Right, so Fog. let's get started. Where do you want? What do you want us to do first to show us how this works? Well, let's see. okay. Would you? Which are you more interested in, the build or equipment? Let's start with builds. Yeah. All right. So let's cool. go to the build tab in our hero panel. Ooh. Then. All right. So we got a hero panel, which did not work for me because I'm on the wrong monitor. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Oops. All right. Um, so there are two big changes to this uh, panel that'll be going out once uh, build and gear templates are turned on on live, and that is across the top of. Uh, the right hand side yeah, here. Scepter and current see, right? There uh, are now tabs across the top. And these are. are these are the tabs that contain the build templates for this character. Wait, what was so the message on deleted? This tab, sorry, real quick, you get to this just like you did with your builds before. Yep. Yeah. This build <laughs> tab, the second tab under your hero panel. Hello, Ben, okay. by the way. Sorry, go ahead. No, no problem. Ben is enabled, so, Matt. Don't yes, smush. Across the top we have no, the tabs that will contain your do. build templates for this character. Um, so on this tab, I have a Soul Beast build, and on the left-hand side, we have a new section called Build Storage. Yeah. And this stores builds across your entire account. Um, so as you can see here, I have some a Chronomancer build, Holosmith build, a Druid build. Uh, but these the aren't the tooltip yeah, is so yeah, good. I'm really like, happy with that too. This is such a really good feature. Like the tooltip feature is so insanely good, actually. And so yeah, this is some good shit. I, yeah, it's good. This is a, well, overall, it's like a well-designed architecture. All this stuff. Yeah, what Story kind well of made. thing it is? Uh, what what kind of skills and uh, spec lines it's got in it? Um, but the ones on the left here are not necessarily the ones that you have active on the character at this time. Right, and these are these on the left are account wide. So, like right now, I'm on a necro, but I got this awesome build from Clayton. Yeah, another that storm Amy and I thing. Took, <laughs> that Amy and I took after Clayton left the room. Uh huh. So if I Ruby try to steals. use this on my necromancer, it won't work. Yeah. Can't play that. The template is incompatible with my current profession. But if I switch later to a guardian, then I can go ahead and bring that up. Yeah. 
So if I, for example, so I know you get six for free as well. Character. You get six for free because you get um, if you log in within the first few weeks, they're going to give you another three of a free. So you have three base, but there will be a, a limited time offer to get three more for free there as well. Uh, and bear in mind, like you won't necessarily need to store all your builds here on this one because you can kind of store some on your characters as well, right? Like you have a few to free to store on your characters and a few in global storage as well. That's for traits, there's three traits as well. Um, so yeah, there you go. There you go. It works the same way as it does right now. If you go and change a skill on your skill bar right now, your current build template uh, remembers that. Um, so it's you're gonna continue playing as you always did. All right. There you go. All right, so cool. how do we... Oh, go ahead, Clayton. I was just saying, this is cool. This is awesome. Yeah, yeah. I really like it. So he likes it. I, why don't we talk a little bit about how we stole oh, this instant as well. <laughs> instant <laughs> swapping, guys. Technically, well, first, what we were doing... You need to distract them yeah. with, with, yes. with sugary foods out in the hall. M there's some new M&Ms in the kitchen. Right. There's some Reese's Pieces. Or that your sandwich is unattended. That, right. And yes. it's ready. It's fresh out of the oven. <laughs> and I run All out. Right. But sometimes... Yeah, ends okay swapping is very nice. Click over button swapping. Like, so then this is why I'm saying that it's better than um, art, guys, because it's instantaneous, right? Like, it's fully instantaneous. That's huge. It's just a big... You literally click a tab and then bam, swap. That's such a big deal. And you can link it to friends. You've got the tooltip. Like, functionally, this is very, very good. Like, it's very, very good functionally. Into your chat and, send it all and the chat goes nice so you can link the build to people, you know? Covered. So here's the thing is, suppose you're a really experienced raider, right? So they're, they're doing this now, they're linking the build, right? They're seeing, can you see that? It, it says, my build, right? Okay, so what what it's doing, okay, it, what this does means that if, if, say, you're a really experienced raider and you're a raid trainer, something like that, for example, or you're in a world versus world zerg, you can link the meta world versus world scourge build, firebrand build, and then everyone will be able to pick it up, you know? Everyone will be able to pick up the right builds. And you could you could have all these sort in your account switch and link them, right? So you could have, like, a, this is the, be the best power soul beast build. This is the Coney soul beast build. Yeah, you're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to spend a, a fair bit of money, right? Uh, but you're going to be able to link this, which is a really amazing quality of life feature for um, raids and world versus world, well, to be honest. Uh, it's, it's really big. It's, oh, wow. In the, there's the little inspect. Can you see that? The little window that comes up to inspect the build winner, too. Yeah, people, will, you'll actually have to ping build. But the thing is, you can just fake it. It's so easy to fake that shit, you know, to um to, to do that stuff. But, yeah, uh, this is a, a really good system. Like I said, it's, it's, very, it's very well done, you know, and, you know, he's, he's, you know, you can play around with these traits like that as well. You know, you may be able to save the chat codes on Notepad. Yeah, of course you can. If you want to do that, you can save them on Notepad. But, like, that... Look, that sounds like AIDS, dude. Like, a couple extra, but we're starting oh. out with three and three. Three and yeah. three. Yeah. Um, well, no, price. Three and two. I'm sorry, three and two. Well, you... Sorry. No. Price. Three build <laughs> tabs. I do. <laughs> tabs are the ones up at the top, and yeah. there'll be three build storage tabs. Yes. Automatically like unlocked, and another three you can grab from the gem store. Hit me and with those it. This will be. Those will be free for a month. We're still, we're still working on the fine tuning of what those are going to cost. Oh. With other storage options that we already have, like bag slots. And they don't slots know. And that kind of thing. Um, but we are still what? fine tuning that. The other three that you can unlock for free that Amy was mentioning, those will be free for a full month after you, after we release these. So you have plenty of time to get in there. They're not and telling us. Ones. And that makes sense because, yeah. like the. What uh, this allows you to do uh, uh, for the equipment stuff is like it takes it out of your inventory. Uh, re realistically, uh, no, no, I'm a, like, I'm actually going to defend a reading here. They probably have a price in mind, but what they're doing is they're waiting to see how bad people are going to rebel against this, um, and then they're <laughs> going to adjust the price accordingly, right? Like if they see a bunch of people on Reddit saying I will flat quit the game if it's 600 gems. They're probably not going to put the prize at 600 gems. Like you've got to bear in mind, this is a games company guy. Yeah, yeah, they want feedback here. Look, guys. Um, look. Let's put it like this. This is a company that has had some truly disastrous PR. They do not want to attract the ire of game journalists or the gaming media. If they do that, that's not going to be good, right? Um, so they're they're probably going to just kind of figure out what you know, people will will tolerate, you know, like that. Yeah, that's it's going to be a big meme. Yeah. A big meme indeed. At or outside of your uh, game client. And similarly, if you were to copy a link that is of the appropriate format from a website, you can now come and paste yeah. it 
directly into one of your build oh, tabs so or good. into your library. So now someone has to. Oh, this sucks. Sorry, this this sucks for Guild Wars Two skills. He's got to okay, um, so check. Really <laughs> He's got to make a yeah, new yeah, uh, code using, outputter now to if make sure you it get does the a right bit code. Muddled on which is which. You just hover. I'm not sure if we're gonna get any interesting information out of this anymore, guys. Like, we're, it's kind of over, right? I mean, um, it, there's not the, the the main thing was gonna be the price, right? And unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to extract that information. Like, there's not much more to really see here, unfortunately. Um, the items, the we, well, it just works, right? Like, we know how it works. They haven't showed the equipment templates. Yeah, but, I mean, we we know I, we know how it works, you know. Um, but, you know, fair play, you know, at least they showed up. I like that they're showing this, oh, this is really good that they're doing this and showing you know, showing it off to people. It feels good. I like it. I like where this is going. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, there you uh, there you have it, Ryan, I guess. You know, there you have it. Oh, I get, I get right. In that case, because I think a few people kind of want to know my overall take on the build templates, I'm going to give my full, look, listen up. I'm going to give my full take on the build templates. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Excellent feature, very well made, well designed, okay, and very functional and very powerful. However, the limitations to the amount you can have is a little concerning. I would like to see that extended, okay? And the fact that you have to purchase three separate things to improve it, that annoys me. It does irk me, uh, especially if that's going to end up expensive. I really hope that they do some serious deals on that. Uh, and not only the deals, I would expect to see bundles as well. I really hope that we see bundles uh, coming through. So in other words, you can buy a pack that gives you character ones, account ones, uh, uh, character ones, ca account ones as well at the same time. So character build templates, character equipment templates, and account build templates. Just like save some gems there as well. Because otherwise I can see this being very, very expensive. If you're a character who plays a lot of, uh, if you're a player who plays a lot of different characters. Particularly if you play multiple different game modes. Um, it's, it's hard not to see this as a bit of a veteran tax actually. Uh, the more you play the game, the more this is going to cost you. Which I think is a little unfortunate. Let's put it like that. Uh, but at the end of the day, if you're a veteran player, you can probably just buy some gems with gold anyway if you don't want to spend the money. Uh, but yeah, certainly cheeky on the monetization. Hopefully it's not that expensive. Uh, if we if we see prices it kind of in like the low hundreds of gems, I think that's pretty okay. Um, but that's still going to cost you a lot if you play, say, three characters. And especially if you play certain ones. If you play something like a Firebrand or a Chrono... Um, so Guardian or, or Mesmer, you're going to have a lot of build templates and you're going to have to spend a fair bit of money. If you play more classes, stuff like uh, Scourge or Ellie on top of that, right? Like, this is going to start racking up a fair bit, which is definitely regrettable. And it sucks that PvP, is, does, it, the, PvP not being supported is actually pretty unfortunate. I don't think it will really affect people because people often have a PvP character already set up anyway. Uh, so... Probably uh, not too uh, tricky. But yeah, the equipment one, um, it, it won't be much of a downside with PvP. It's very easy to swap between PvP templates anyway, right? You just click on a few things, sigils, weapons. It, it's very easy to swap, so. But they are going to implement that eventually, which will be nice, right? But there you go. Uh, that's, that is my full take. That is my full take.